Today I want to talk about balance and stability. So when we're talking about balance, it's whether you can walk or not, unaided, and not fall if you should slip. Those kind of two things. Balance is also being able to stand on one foot, which is what walking is. How to do that is it's important to think of, we'll say the Pilates box. So your pelvic area, your rotator muscles in your hip, whole pelvic area, and the gluteus medius. Gluteus medius is normally known as a muscle for abduction, but it also stabilizes you when you walk. We're not going to go into specific exercises to work the core and to work the gluteus medius. What I want to focus on is exercises that just trigger the core to strengthen it. And so you understand how the body works. So I want you to think if you had hurt your leg and you're using a cane, the cane should be set up for your height. So you're not leaning way forward and you're also not going to fall back. You don't want it way up here, that'll put pain in your neck and your traps. So if the cane is set up right, you should be able to walk correctly. And why that's important is the more upright you are, the more you engage here. Now this engagement isn't where you suck your tummy way in, it's just slightly pulled in. So if you stand up straight, that's as much as you need to pull it in and it'll do it automatically. If you open up your spine, this will tense up. If you are really having problems with balance, then the first part of this is very important. If you're a trainer, you wanna watch this because it can help a lot of your clients who have a lot of balance problems. This is a aerobics bar, but we're gonna think of it in terms of a railing or a wall or something solid that you can hold on to. So we're just gonna use our imagination a bit and think in terms of this is a solid piece of equipment or furniture or part of a wall. If I want to practice lifting a leg up for balance purposes, the first thing is I don't wanna do this. So the first thing is stretch. Up. Now, inhalation is stabilization. So if I inhale, I stabilize, but you have to breathe. Exhale is relaxation in this case. It's not about weight training. It's about working the core lightly. It's about getting your balance and stability. So inhale, stabilize, exhale, relax. If you hold it up, you should breathe, okay? Because you don't want to fall. So this leg is taking all the weight. This is the leg you want to focus on, not the leg you're lifting. This leg doesn't have a lot to do with balance. This leg and the core have pretty much everything to do with balance. If I want to practice that, but I'm afraid of falling, so I'm going to hold on to something, and I grab really tight, and I do this, you can see I'm clenching up through here. It goes through the arm to the hand. The mind is sending the signal to the hand. It's focusing on the hand. It's not focusing on your core. If you hold on it lightly, it starts to engage the core more and the nervous system around the core. If you keep your hand slightly off it, the body really starts to adapt. And that's what you want. You want it so you're independent and you can walk without holding on to something. Or if you absolutely have to hold on to something like a cane or a walker that you still engage here, because that's going to be the difference whether you can sit up or if you start to slouch over. So that in itself is an exercise practicing going up. You could do this. It's a lot easier because you have two pillars on either side, whereas this is a bit more challenging. So I would, if you need to start from the leg between the two points, whatever you're holding on to in the standing leg, but I would quickly try to move towards using the outside leg. Okay, so I wanna talk about a spotter. If you're 
with somebody, if you're the trainer and you're helping somebody out or you're the family member or the friend, you always want to be on the side of the leg that's staying down. So the foot that's on the floor, the leg that keeps fairly straight, that's the side you want to be on. And the reason is if the person puts their foot down, they're okay. But if you're on this side and they do this, they can fall. So I hope that makes sense. Spotters are always on the side of the foot that stays down. As a spotter, you wanna be careful. You don't wanna be in the person's space. And I found this out over the years. If I moved too close, two things would happen. One, the person would either lean towards me or might likely they lean the other way and they're not sending the signal. So you don't want them dependent on you by grabbing them really tight on you, unless for some reason that's absolutely necessary. You wanna be on the side of the straight leg if you're a spotter and make sure you say, am I in your space? So you wanna be close enough to protect them, but not so close that they're either gonna lean on you for protection or lean away from you, sort of like you're in my space. Very important. Okay, some different exercises. Side to side, okay? So, you're the person exercising, you're trying to increase your balance. Remember, this is gonna pull in slightly. You don't wanna start doing this because it puts your spine out of alignment. Best thing to do is keep the spine open up, not let it scrunch up. The more you do this, the more in balance you are. And therefore, the more stable you'll be, and this will all work right. This starts pinching things, and it doesn't work well with breathing. This is a good exercise to progress to. The next line would be forward and back, okay? The leg we're focusing is the one with the foot on the ground. So this one, this one. If you're a spotter, you'd probably be at their side or maybe behind them. If you know which way they tend to seem to fall, then get ready in that position to help that person. Always do both sides. You don't want one side dominant. And the reason is, if you think of slipping, if you're walking along and you're left side dominant and you slip, you'll probably do this and recover because the nervous system's firing. But if you slip on the right side, so the right leg's holding it, but it's not used to firing, there's a good chance you're going to fall over. So always balance it out. Don't go, oh, I'm really good at this, but I don't like this because it's hard. Do the hard work. Get that nervous system firing. What will happen is the body will adapt. It'll say, hey, I'm going to wake up things that weren't woken up before. Okay. You can go to a step. This is maybe a little too high. Board again. If you're spotter, you're going to stand by the leg that's on whatever you're standing on and make sure it's a good solid surface. The idea is come up, come down. So I'll explain about the core again. If you do this, it doesn't engage as much as if you did this. So whether you're holding your hands like this or here, try to have your hands higher because then it's more likely that the core is gonna engage. You can practice stepping up, but always do both legs. And one leg might be more, we'll call it wonkier than another. You still wanna do it. If it's really bad, you wanna find out if the nerves are firing properly. And that's a problem if there's nerve damage, you may or may not ever fully get it back. So you're gonna have to learn to adapt. What you wanna watch out is you don't start doing this because that'll kill your lower back and it'll bother your hip joints. Okay, so you can also just do floor. You can practice, start by touching, lifting, touching, lifting. You can start stepping back. Now, if you notice I didn't do that because that'll kill your lower back. 
Okay, and then you can start reaching. This knee bends. It does not stay straight. That knee will not appreciate that. So we're getting a bit more progressive. You want the legs straight out. You want the tummy pulled in a bit. You want the chest up. This is not what we want. If you watch figure skaters and that, they don't do this. Or speed skaters, they stretch out. Okay? So the knee does bend. If you do it one side, you do the other. If you have a problem, you can have a table or something where you can just touch, come down, and then gradually increase it. Okay, but listen to your body. If your body does say, hey, that's too low and I don't like that, probably don't do it. Okay, I'm gonna progress it a little bit more. If you move on to a stability ball and you haven't used one, face a wall, get someone to spot you. So I'll hold on, I'll roll, and I'll get on. Make sure that you're safe on both sides. Okay, and then eventually, I'm, I'm accelerating this, but eventually you could start doing this. I've done this for years. So the next one would be all fours come down, all fours, and then eventually, and yes, people can do this because what happens is the core will start to adapt. And then you can go on it like this, you may even be able to throw a ball. The more you're used to it, the less like you're going to get hurt. Now, the problem here is falling forward, not backwards. So you don't wanna snap your wrist, you don't wanna bang your head. If you're the spotter and you're having someone do this, you would be in front, sort of side the front so that you can stop them if they start to fall forward. A lot of physio places will get people on a BOSU, which is an older version, it's called body sculpture, make sure these are out of your way. The best thing is to start one foot up, come up, step down. I'll move that out of the way a bit. Okay, so let's step up, come down. Don't tense your foot, because you'll notice I'm all over the place. If you tense your foot, which a client of mine did, you, you can't adapt. So stability, balance is all about adapting. My foot would be constantly in motion. If I go straight, it's just not gonna work, okay? So what I meant by straight is solid. It's not moving. It's not able to go side to side. You don't wanna roll it. So first you'd start, you get used to it. Now, if you're all over the place, don't worry about it. The next time it'll be easier. Each time you do it, you'll be better until you can start doing all sorts of wonderful things. You can go out to the side. This, you can go back. Watch you don't twist your hip. And you go one side, then make sure you do the other side, right? And get your balance. Probably one side will be better than another. If you're gonna do it two legs, Again, you want to be careful. You might want a wall beside you. Same as if you don't have a spotter and you're doing this, the wall is here. Remember, by the foot that stays down. If you're going to do two feet, you might want a railing in front of you. Make sure whatever's behind you, if you do fall, you're not going to smash your head and wreck your back. So always make sure your surrounding area is safe. And in this one, you can gradually go down. I've seen people shake. Some people are calm as can be. It's up to you. Only go as low as it's comfortable because it can go into the knees otherwise. And you don't want to be bent over like that. Okay, so it's progressive. I have rushed through it, but take your time. First, just if it freaks you out, the next time try it. Because each time you do it, the body will get used to it. And I've seen and done this with probably hundreds of people. Okay, I'm gonna leave it at that. And I'll just reiterate, if it's you, you're training yourself, always make sure you're safe or as safe as possible. Don't clench on to things unless you have to. The signal should go here. 
not to your hand. If you're a spotter, always stay by the leg that's straight. If it's a stability ball, you'll be in front. If it's this, you'll either you'll be sort of on the corner or behind. This is bad. If you go forward, you'll probably step forward. But if you go back, that can be a problem. Spotters, make sure that you say, am I in your space? If you're helping someone and they have their arm through yours, obviously the space thing doesn't mean anything. But if you're having somebody exercise or helping someone exercise, make sure you say, am I in your space? And don't be so far away that if they do start to fall, you can't grab them or help them, but don't be so close that they either lean towards you or they lean away from you. Okay. Until we uh, meet again, stay safe, enjoy life, and remember to watch this more than once because there's a lot of information here and I went through it very quickly.